Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit. As we are letting x approach negative infinity, what will be driving the expression on the numerator is the largest term 2x5, which goes to negative infinity. And on the denominator, it is 9x squared, which goes to positive infinity. So we have an indeterminate case, as we have a fraction where both numerator and denominator are getting larger and larger and larger, one negative, the other positive. Well, to resolve this case, we have to emphasize the dominant term on the numerator and denominator, and that is always, of course, the largest power of x. On the numerator, that is x5, and so we factor x5. What's left is 2 plus 8 over x cubed plus 3 over x5. Same on the denominator, but now the largest power of x is x squared. So we have a common multiple of, well, a factor of x to some power on top and on the bottom, on top x5, on the bottom x squared. These simplify to an x cubed on the numerator. If we perform this simplification, let's see what we're left with. So on the numerator, x cubed, then times, the second term does not change. And on the bottom, all that remains is the second term. We can now check the case for a second time to see if we've made progress. Now we have these four fractions, and in each case we have a constant that is being divided by a larger and larger quantity. In these cases, negative, and this one positive. But regardless, if you divide a constant, by a larger and larger number, positive or negative, the fraction is getting closer and closer to zero. So if we focus now first on the denominator, as x approaches negative infinity, this expression gets closer and closer to nine. And on the numerator, as x goes to negative infinity, x cubed goes to negative infinity, then times something close to 2 also goes to negative infinity. So we have a fraction where the numerator gets larger and larger and larger and negative, and the denominator gets closer and closer to 9. Well, if you have something larger and larger and larger divided by 9, it also gets larger and larger and larger, and so the answer to our limit is negative infinity.